What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Tracking Ace. So, <laughs> I was in uh last video, I did sort of like, not really a rant, but I, you could tell I was kind of frustrated with Leaky Clever a little bit because she could have got third or fourth. And she could have got a time under 50 seconds. But she ran so much of the first 300 meters so hard that she ran out of gas. Because she was actually a hit of Cashmere pretty well throughout the race. But Cashmere was also holding back for the last 100 like she should have. We'll go over that in a second. But uh, if y'all want to hear my thoughts about Leaky Clever, definitely check out that last video. I'm definitely going to have a link to it at the end of the video as well, at the end screen. So definitely go check that one out. But let's talk about this 400 meter final. So as guys can see the times on the screen, let's go over them real quick. Paulino, just like I thought she would, 48.76 seconds. I knew she was running under a 49 seconds. She was really the only runner in the field, now that Sydney McLaughlin wasn't there, that I, maybe Britton Wilson could have did it too, but she, and Ada Leakey, I feel like we'll do it in the future, but she was really one of the only runners that was capable of running under 49 seconds in this field, at least today. At least today, she was the only one. So that's why I always had Paulino winning it, and she did just that. And really, she was out of front, like nobody was really close to her. And I really believe that nobody else was really trying to catch her. They knew they had lost against Paulino. They were like, okay, that girl, she, she's uh, she's way up there, man. Let's, uh, <laughs> they're like, man, she way up there, bro. She way up there. But uh, uh, just an amazing run. And let me say this, though. Let me say this. Let me say this though. I still feel like there's a chance that she could have beat Sydney McLaughlin. There's still a chance to me because it wasn't a given that Sydney McLaughlin was going to run this fast in the final. It, it's not a given. Because she's still learning, she might have beat her. I don't know if anybody agrees with me on that, but I think there was still a chance she would have beat her. Like this time right here, this is where my see what what what, what made the difference for me with Paulino is that she ran the rounds well. If you look at the times here, and I complained about this in the last video, everybody got worse at the times for the semifinal. Everybody got worse. She got better. She ran the rounds well. In the heats, she did exactly what she was supposed to do. Forty nine point nine. That might not look impressive by Paulino standards, but that was exactly what she was supposed to do in the heat. Just get disqualified. That's it. That's it. Semifinal, she took it up another notch, but still didn't run as fast. And this is why some people got tricked up into thinking she wasn't going to win. Because they felt like a 49.54 wasn't all that. And Cash Merrick actually had the best time in the field with a 49.50, but I said don't get tricked up by that. This is why I still had Paulino winning it. Because I knew she was one of the only runners that could run under 49 seconds. And then you saw there in the final where it counts 48.76. She ran the rounds good. And everybody else behind her, they got to learn how to run the rounds better. I think Adeliki was the only one, in my opinion, who, I'm, who I give a pass for. Just because of the fact that because of the college season, I believe that's the reason why she didn't play second or didn't get as fast as she, you know, you know, I think a lot of people probably would expect that she would have. So that had a lot to do with that. I don't think Cash Berger and Williams ran bad. They they were very close to their semifinal times. I wish both of them could have ran a little faster than what they did, but they didn't need to, because nobody was really threatening them. And, and that probably was the mindset as well, was that nobody was really threatening them. And Especially for Cass Merrick, knowing that she had second sewn up. That was part of the thought, thought process. So, let's talk about Cash Merrick here, man. Because this was a brilliant run run by her, bro. And you can see the change. She's hanging around at 49.50 quite often now. And that's a huge step up for Cash Merrick. For someone that just got a personal best last year of 49.86. For her to be running this consistent... Around 49.5, 49.6 is amazing. That's amazing. Cash Merrick has gotten to the next level. 
And this is why I say you just like some runners, you just got to give them time. Got to give them a little bit of time to figure it out. That was the case here with Cash Merrick. She just needed a little bit more time to figure things out. She's 26, and now she's starting to figure it out. She's starting to figure it out, bro. And I'll say what I said in my last video. I think she can run the 200. I honestly think she can run the 200, bro. Actually, Cash Merrick is only 25. My bad. I don't know why I kept on thinking Cash Merrick was 26. That's my bad for real, man. She's only 25. Man, why did I think she was 26? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, I made a mistake on that one. So she the same age as Leaky Clever did. Man. Okay. 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 That's interesting. That's actually interesting. I mean she's gonna be 26 next year doing the Olympics. So she's really actually just started her prime. I don't know why. You know what? Cash Merrick was 24 last year. I don't know how I forgot that. I don't know how I forgot that. Man. But either way, like I said, man. She is just, she's figured it out. And I think here, I'm, I'm even more impressed here than the semifinal, even though the semifinal was a 49.50. I'm a little bit more impressed here because this was the final. And she had every excuse in the book to take her foot off the gas and just show that she was tired or whatever and just gave up second to say to Williams. If this was last year, see, this is the biggest change that I've seen from her. If this was last year, Seda Williams would be in second place. Without a doubt, Seda Williams would be in second place. This is the difference with Cash Merrick this year, man. Cash Merrick is on the next level. She's on the next level. And what's nice is a lot of these runners are around the same age, man. They're around 25, 26. Paulino's 26. Williams is 25. The oldest one is Cynthia Bolingo, who's 30. I think Candace McLeod is up there too, right? I think she's around. Um... No, Candace McLeod is 26. She's 26. 26, 27, right? They're all around the same age. Talitha Dick's a little bit younger. Adeliki's a little bit younger than them, but they're all around the same age. So this entire group, Sydney McLaughlin's getting close to those ages. They're all in that same area. Britt Wilson's also coming up a little bit younger than them, but they're all like these girls. If Femke Bowl could get in here too, maybe an Abby Stein in the future, like they're all in that same age bracket. They could be going at it for the next four, six, eight years from now. Like that's that's what I love about this group is that, and maybe a thing more as well, like they all, Kiwi Hockey said hopefully too, like, they all in this same age bracket, and it's just, it's great to see. It's great to see, like, you know, everyone's learning around the same time, everyone's picking it up, like, but what I love about Cash Merrick today was that, like I said in the past, she, she, she would have did a leaky clever, would have put her all to the first 200, 300 meters and flamed out towards the end. She didn't do that today. That's the change that Leaky Clever has to make. Because Cash Merrick was at least like fourth or fifth place in the middle, like in the middle of the race. She was back there. But she did what she needed to do in the last 200. She increased her speed. And I could tell she was increasing her speed. That's the race you want to see. Seton Williams kind of ran a similar race. I got to give her some credit too. She ran a similar race. And that's why those two, that's why I said they had good races. Everyone else, to me, had an off race because you, you can see it based on their times. The only one I give a pass is Ed Aliki. But Cash Merrick and, and Williams, goddamn. They ran exactly the way they were supposed to, man. And I think from here, both of them could definitely get below 49.4. I, I definitely see that. Now, what it, you know, especially with Cash Merrick, would she ever. Get close to under 49 seconds. We'll have to see. Because she took a big step this year. Remember, she went from a 49.86 last year to a 48.84 this year. I mean, 49.84 this year. No, 49.48. My bad, y'all. 49.48. So, if she could increase her speed by another 40 tenths of a second, she could get down to 49.10. 
49.20, get, get in that area. But uh, awesome race by her, though. Because, bro, she's figured it out. Like I said, she has figured it out. Kind of reminds me of Sharika Jackson when she figured it out, too. And that's why I said it's highly could probably get into the 200 because she's got those long legs like Sharika. I think she could do like she did coming from the 400 to the 200. The only thing is, I don't think she's super good in the 100. That's my problem with Cash Merrick, but Cash Merrick right now, man, with that endurance, man, she'll be dangerous, man, in them legs, bro. She will be dangerous in the 200. I, I, I really believe that. And she's only going to get better in the 400. Femka Ball has a lot of people. If she, get, if she gets into this open 400, she's got a lot of people she's got to pass up. If I was Femka Ball, I'd probably continue to focus on the hurdles. But you might need to get in here now because these girls ain't playing, bro. These girls are not playing, bro. What I saw was just amazing. Amazing. But I'm really proud of Cash Merrick this year, man. I, I really am. Like, you know, salute to BSC Games for, you know, telling me, uh, for for congrat, you know, basically saying, you know, I'm the only person really on YouTube really covering Cash Merrick that way, and I appreciate that, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of her, man. I've been watching her for a long time since she was a pup, and. I always saw something in her, man. Like, it was just something about her that was different from everyone else. And when you watch someone like that, you love to see them. This isn't a final product, but it's it's fun to see the potential that you saw. You're starting to see it right now. And that silver medal is, is, a, is huge. It's huge. It's huge. Cause it wasn't like second. It wasn't like getting in the second place is going to be easy for her, bro. It wasn't. Seth Williams right on her neck. It wasn't like it was going to be easy. But good stuff, man. I'm looking forward to Cash Mary. I don't know if she's going to run the rest of the season or not. I hope she runs to the Diamond League final um, and stay healthy for next year. Cause I definitely want to see her in the Olympics and take that next step. Um. Now, as far as medals next year, like I said, it's going to be tougher because McLaughlin's going to be back and Britt Wilson's going to be back. So it's going to be tougher next year to get medals. Um, but that's why I'm glad that Cash Merrick took advantage of the situation got her medal here. You know what I mean? Uh, real quick about Diggs. Uh, Talitha Diggs, you know, uh, she, she definitely, she's another collegiate athlete. Definitely just ran out of steam. She had to do a lot just to even get into the final. And I think just getting to the final at Worlds says a lot about Talitha Diggs. That kid has a lot of heart, man. I love watching Talitha Diggs, bro. She has so much heart, bro. And next year, you know, I think she's going to run a lot better. I think she's going to run a lot better. She's going to get a higher position. It's going, Like I said, it's going to be tough to qualify for the 400 at the Olympics. It's going to be tough to qualify for the final. It's going to be very tough next year, man. Because this 400 is stacked. And no telling who's going to be in here next year, man. It's going to be stacked. But this was great. Um, Y'all know me. Uh, so, for those of you that watch my Shakari Richardson video, uh, I've been betting lately. Um, and uh, I run my bets um, right now on FanDuel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some other sport books as well. But uh, while I was out, while this channel was going through a copyright stay, I was... Uh, uh, I was betting, so I've been learning how to do that. Now I've, I've, I lost a lot. I lost a lot of money in betting, but it's because I'm just trying to learn, and I still lose. You know, you you I'm I'm up and down. You know, sometimes you know I'm trying to win more consistently though. But uh, I did a smart job, so I hedged my bet again here, like I did in the other one. I went with Paulino. The only problem with Paulino, as you guys see my ticket on the screen here, the only problem with Paulino, she was a minus coming into today. That was the only thing, man. I was like. Ah, bro, she's a minus though, so I couldn't get that much off of her. You know, I couldn't get that much off of her. So I still won with her. I still won with her. I knew she was gonna win. I should have put a little bit more in there. To be honest with y'all, I wish I would have put a little bit more in there, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so she was a minus two ten. I put two dollars and fifty cent on her. 
I wanted to go a little bit more, but like I said, I'm not ready because track and field is such a crazy sport. I'm not ready to put my all in it yet. So I'm very I'm being I'm being a lot cautious still. So I ended up getting three dollars and sixty nine cents. So a little bit over a dollar profit. Um but like I said, she she was a minus two ten. I would have had to put a lot more money in just to make a maybe like a four or five dollar profit bet. But Cash Merrick was the one if she had finished in first. I put the same amount of money down on her, but I would have won uh for the plus 500, I would have won like 12. 12, I think it was like $12.50 on cash merit. So that would have been a huge win for me like Shakari Richardson was. Um, it would have been a huge win. Um, and, and it's crazy, man, because their top three played out exactly the way it played out. Sada Williams was third, third in the pecking order. Then Adeliki, I believe, was in fourth. Clever was like down there with Paulino. I think she was like fifth or sixth. So there is that. It, it makes you think that this stuff is rigged sometimes, because the the thing was the exact same way it went. <laughs> In the one hundred, was the same way. I'm looking for a misstep to make sure. I'm a, I'm a like the two hundred. It better be different, man. I'm gonna start thinking this shit is rigged, bro. <laughs> well, man, oh man, oh man. If y'all want to bet on sport, uh, FanDuel, by the way. I got a referral link in the description box. Make sure y'all take my referral link if you sign up. Uh, gamble responsibly, though, man. Uh, gambling is not for everybody, especially for people with addictive personality. So please stay away from it if you have an addictive personality. Um, but if you want to have some fun, put a bet here or two or there. Make sure y'all sign up under me. Um, to finish this video, man, shout out to Star Run. Star Run. I had a great conversation with Star Run about this race. And... Star Run actually reminded me about Adeliki having that long college season because I forgot to mention that in my last video that that long collegiate season actually probably affected her. But make no mistake about it, Adeliki is going to be a problem. And she might even convert down to the 200s in the future. Um, She's going to be a problem in this 400, man. That's why I chose her to be second before I, I realized that she was collegiate athlete just like Talitha Diggs, man. So my mistake on that, man. But overall, what a nice outing for. Congratulations to Mary Lee DiPaulino. Congratulations to Cash Merrick on the silver. And congratulations to Williams on the bronze. Cash Merrick. Oh my gosh. She's got to be over the moon to get this silver medal, bro. Over the moon. At a world championships. This girl's going to get even better. She's only 25. There's no telling where she's going to go as long as she stays healthy. That's the key. Staying healthy, man. Great stuff, man. Also, subscribe to Jacob the Analyst's channel, y'all. I know he's probably going to go, maybe go over this 400 race. Make sure y'all subscribe to him. Any comments y'all got below, definitely put them down. We're going to make sure I respond to him. Want to get his video, like, share, subscribe, y'all. Um, next time I check in, I may talk about the men's 200. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely talking about the ladies' 200. I'm going to probably try to talk about Femme Cabo tomorrow. I think her final is tomorrow for the hurdles. Um, and what her future entails um, in the relays over the weekend, man. So I'll see y'all then. Like I said, go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Tracking Ace.